What is going on my Super Saiyan, which is Rob Star here, and today I'm doing my Dragon Ball Nation. It's been a while since we did a video, but I had to do a part two response, bring it back, because a couple weeks ago we did a video talking about, what was the topic exactly? It, it was going off of the 10% uh, line that Beers had used against Vegeta. He said like, you know, this is the first time I ever used my 10%. Uh, stuff like that, which, I mean, the video was kind of all based off math, and I made that pretty clear in the video, but a lot of people did get a little out of hand in it. <laughs> <laughs> math and Dragon as, Ball as never always. go together very well. No. And power levels are bullshit, but uh, he kind of basically said that uh, GT villains, in a way, should be stronger than characters in Dragon Ball Super, specifically people like Beerus. So I kind of want to bring back here for a little debate. Uh, we're specifically going to go off of Omega Shenron versus Beerus. And if you want to watch the original video, I will link it in the description below. So go over there, check it out, comment over there as well. And then come back to this one so you guys have a better idea what's going on. But why don't you go ahead and state your case to why you believe Omega Shenron is stronger than Beerus. Okay, well there's a lot of factors here and I'll try to give it the most brief way possible. Basically, Goku and GT uh, when he was fighting General Rildo in his base mm -hmm. form, Goku said that Rildo was even more powerful than Majin Buu. And Goku was pretty much beating Rildo in his base. So that would put Goku... We don't know what form Buu he was talking about. I'm just going to assume Kid Buu. So uh -huh. that kind of leads all, many fans to believe that Goku's base is equal to a Super Saiyan 3 from the Buu Saga. Then you put all the multipliers from Super Saiyan on, which the last official one, which fans would say, is Super Saiyan 3 multiplier, which is 400 times base. So that puts that GT Goku as Super Saiyan 3, 400 times stronger than the Buu Saga one. And then people say Super Saiyan 4 is 10 times Super Saiyan 3, which there's no official one um, of that. It may even be more, but many fans just accept that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is 4,000 times stronger than the Buu Saga Super Saiyan 3. We don't know how strong Goku is in Battle of Gods. It's very, very difficult to pinpoint and it, there's really no evidence to say where he would be at. But just based off of that number, I can't see how Beerus himself would be 4,000 times the strength of Goku. And then you put on top of Omega Shenron, who was demolishing Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, it's just really crazy. But the thing is, is, when you look at GT, I don't like trying to use feats with GT because there's nothing impressive in GT. Goku was impressed when Omega Shenron blew up a city. And that's something that Nappa in the beginning of Z did. So I just mm -hmm. think by numbers... Which, again, numbers in Dragon Ball is something that a lot of people don't like to mix. But just based on numbers and power scaling, I just feel like Omega Shenron should be a lot stronger than Beerus based off of that stuff. Okay, and the uh, way we're going to do this is I'm going to give you my counter argument. And everybody that's watching this, feel free to side on uh, whichever side you want to be on. Whether you're on Omega Shenron side or Beerus side. And if you want to vote who you think is better, either hashtag Beerus or hashtag Shenron in the comment section below. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you my points, my counter to what you just said. And I want to see what you think about that. And after that, we'll just basically leave this discussion to the people. So my first point I want to counter... Uh, this hasn't been covered yet. It's been covered briefly in the manga and it's going to uh, be covered in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. But uh, both Goku and Beerus' fight got, gets so intense. And this is not really a spoiler. But don't worry about it. It's not really a spoiler. Just putting it out there right now. Goku's fight with Beerus gets so intense that it puts the entire universe at risk. Now, it's kind of hard to use as a point as a uh, counter argument to that because we don't really know what exactly this means. But the fight had to be stopped. Otherwise, the entire universe could have been destroyed just off the sheer power of these two powers clashing. Now, going back to Dragon Ball GT, there was never a fight where something like that was brought up. There was never a point where it's like, oh my god, you know, this galaxy can blow up, this universe can blow up, this planet can blow up just because of this fight alone. There's never really a point uh, or a fight like that in GT. So that's the first point I want to toss out. The next one I want to toss out is going back to the whole power scaling. Beerus chopped Goku as a Super Saiyan 3 in the neck. Just barely tapped him, essentially. Flicked him, you can say. And he ended up knocking him out. So that shows you that Beerus is a, a lot stronger than Goku. Uh, can we say he's 4,000 times stronger? I really don't know. Because, again, we can't really toss out numbers. Power levels of bullshit and all that stuff. But we know that when you compare the original Super Saiyan 3 Goku at the end of uh, Z compared to Beerus, um, it's just it's a huge difference. The next one I want to kind of toss out here. And I'm curious. I want to know your response to this right now. Uh, we can say that, uh, what's it called, the dragons, or Omega Shenron, is kind of a product of Shenron himself. Shenron was scared of Beerus, like he knows who Beerus is, so, do you want to actually counter to that? I, I did a video on it, but I do not agree with the, the notion that a lot of people think that Beer, uh, Omega Shenron and Shenron have the same strength. Because they don't, right. they definitely don't. 
They but definitely what do I was, not. What, because what Omega I was going Shenron to... came from the Black Smoke Dragon, which is very different. And that would kind of be saying that all of the Shadow Dragons would essentially have the same strength, which they clearly right. did not. They did not. I agree that uh, those dragons are a lot stronger. But since, uh, in a way, it's kind of the source. And if Shenron is scared of Beerus, there should be some kind of fear, level of fear uh, as well for... Omega Shadow and the Shadow Dragons as well. But then again, it's also just pure theory. We can't really confirm this ever. It just kind of tossing it out there. Uh, the next one I want to bring up is both Goku and, you know, well, not both Goku and Vegeta, but Goku himself in both the movie and Dragon Ball Super has said that uh, even fusion will not be enough to fight uh, Beerus. And uh, as strong as they get, if they're to fuse, they still wouldn't be able to beat Be Beerus, which shows you, again, the big level of difference in power. And the final one is, in Resurrection F, we says if Goku and Vegeta as Super Saiyan got Super Saiyans were to team up against Beerus, they still most likely wouldn't win. So again, that just shows you just how much of a level Beerus is compared to um, any other villains that exist in the Dragon Ball universe. So what do you think about all those points? That just Well, I want to just touch on the last point made about fusion. Um... The whole thing about that is, even though he did say Fusion would not give him a chance, and at least from Battle God's standpoint, because that's the only one that's finished right now, Super's still going on, uh, at least from that standpoint, uh, and I'll, honestly, Super saying God did not give him much of a chance against Beerus either, did it? To be quite in honest. Gods, in Battle Gods, no. In Battle Gods, we still have to see what happens in Super, and as I said, Omega Sharon's a lot, lot stronger than Super Saiyan 4, because they had to use mm -hmm. Fusion to beat him. Him and Vegeta teaming up as Super Saiyan 4 wasn't even close to enough. And going off of some more power scaling stuff, early around the series and uh, the Baby Saga, Goku was fighting the, I believe it was the second form of Baby, before he had transformed it, well it was when, he, it was just Vegeta with white hair. Uh -huh. Super Saiyan 3 Goku was fighting him before he got his tail back and that Vegeta was demolishing a Super Saiyan 3 Goku from GT. And when uh -huh. he got his tail, he had gotten stronger. That final form, Baby Vegeta, was just twirling Goku around effortlessly. And I kind of take that. And then when he transforms Super Saiyan 4, uh -huh. he's then not even being able to get damaged by Baby. He's, he's just demolishing Baby. And I think mm -hmm. the jump in power there, to me, is just more impressive than the jump from Super Saiyan 3 Goku in Battle Gods and Super to Super Saiyan God. But that's all speculative and opinion-based. Um, going off power scaling, but then I just kind of add that little jump on with, you know, the time gap power boost. It's all very, very confusing number stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just how I feel about that. But the, the one thing that I can't exactly argue with is that thing you mentioned that was in the chapter about the whole universe shaking. Universe. That's actually the next GT the just thing has terrible feats. That's all I can say. Yeah. It does not have, I can only do it by power scaling. GT's feats just aren't impressive. Like I said, yeah. Goku was impressed that Omega Shenron could blow up a city, which is something that Nappa did. Goku mm -hmm. had to use a ton of energy to push a building in GT. It's just not mm -hmm. impressive. What I was going to also say before we end this is uh, Beerus is supposed to be the god of Universe 7. He's supposed to be literally the most powerful be being in that universe as well. So just off of that title alone, it's another reason to believe why I don't think Shenron could beat him. Uh, but one, one thing else I was going to do is, is Shen uh, Shenron got defeated by the Universe Spirit Bomb. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, I have to just double check because it's been a while since I watched GT. Uh, again, I feel like the Universe Spirit Bomb still wouldn't be able to destroy Beerus as well. I feel like Beerus, although it, it could be, you could argue that he could match it, I feel like Beerus could ultimately stop the Universe Spirit Bomb. Just because he's supposed to be the thing that's like the balance in in the universe. He's supposed to be the thing that just doesn't get defeated. He's never going to defeat it in my opinion. And I feel like in Dragon Super, he's never, we're never going to see him leave. Just because you can't have a universe without that god. It's like you have uh, Supreme Kai for... You know the good side and then for like the bad side you got beers and i just feel like because because of that title alone that's another reason to believe that just it could be a good fight but at the same time i feel like if beers wanted to he can just go 100 percent and just destroy pretty much any villain or even good guy in the entire dragon ball universe which we kind of saw that in the last episode although i, I wouldn't say he destroyed him he just kind of you know toyed around with goku and just made him actually want to fight for real uh but i just feel like beers just is not he's just not written to the point where he's supposed to be defeated Right. That's the last point I want to talk right, about. Right, yeah, he's definitely written to be all-powerful. That is definitely... Which is bullshit. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I gotta say, Toriyama, that is some bullshit. That's literally some Superman shit. But whatever, you know, I'm a big fan of Beerus. He's my favorite character. I love, so I I love Beerus as well. A lot of people think yeah. I hate Beerus and these super characters because I like... I, I say the GT characters are strong. I like Battle of Gods much better than GT. Um, uh -huh. GT is an average series, but I do like some of the characters. But I just truly think that, you know, based off of scaling, that they should be stronger. But... Mm -hmm. 
there's really, I don't think there's definitive evidence for either side to end the debate as of now. Otherwise, I really wouldn't be debating it. Yeah. So I guess we'll just turn it up to you guys. Do you guys think, uh, hate aside from GT, because I know a lot of people don't like GT, just character-wise, do you think uh, Omega Shenron is stronger than Beerus? Why or why not? Let us know in the comment section below. Is there anything else you want to say before we end this? Uh, no, nothing else. All right, so check out uh, Josh in the description below, and I guess let us know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and I guess we'll see all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.